guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm bringing you a deck review of the Animal Wise Tarot by Ted Andrews. If you've been watching my channel for some time, you know that I am a huge Ted Andrews fan. I have, you know, his uh, some of his books. I eventually one day want to collect all of his books <laughs> and have like a whole Ted Andrews library. Um, I have a couple of Ted Andrews other decks. I have his uh, Nature Speak, I have his Feathered Omens Oracle, um, and I got the Animal Wise Tarot uh, probably about a month and a half ago. So let's go ahead and look into it. Um, and this is by Dragonhawk Publishing. Um, and just kind of looking around the box here. And onto the back, just so you guys can get a good look. And of course, it's got that nice magnetic closure so that you can keep your cards nice and safe. Um, so this is probably about like a novel size, <laughs> like a regular book size. Uh, so will take up a little bit of space in your collection. Um, there was a kind of like a divider that came in here where you got to keep all of your cards. Um, but I don't know, I just, I like to take it out because I like quick access to my cards because otherwise the book had to sit on top and I just like, I just want to grab my cards. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and set these aside. And this was just the title card, so I just have it um, underneath the guidebook. Okay, so let's have a look see. Okay, so here's our guidebook, and it is a proper book, you guys. Um, has all the same things that uh, you guys saw on here in the box. Okay, so I actually took the time to read through this. Um, it's really awesome. I think it goes along with um, if you have the Animal Speak book, if you have his Nature Speak book, <laughs> um, any of those. This has a little bit of those books in here. Um, so as you can see, it's broken down uh, and into all the different names of the suits. Um, and so like you have the four leggeds, the winged ones, shapeshifters, the ancients. Um, you have some layouts. Uh, there's a few divination layouts uh, illustrated here. And it's basically just laid out like his, his other books. Um, so just kind of goes into stuff just like this. Okay, so let's say we pulled the High Priestess, which would be the spider. Um, there are some keywords on the card as well as here in the book. It says intuition weaving of fate um, and kind of what that might mean, what spider mes medicine uh, might mean for us, uh, what that might mean reversed, questions to ask yourself, you know, when this card comes up. Um, and it's got a lot of really good info. Let's say we get to the winged ones, which uh, I would think would be air, so like swords, um, and you get six of winged ones, which is a dove, uh, moving between cycles and worlds. Um, and that kind of goes along with, I guess, the Rider weight meaning of the six of swords, you know, where you see... Um, everybody in a boat and they're kind of like taking off on this journey. It's, it's very similar, but I kind of think that Ted Andrews kind of has his own thing going on with this deck, which I love. I like this kind of tarot, kind of oracle, and I, I like that cross between the two. Not everybody's a big fan of that, but I dig it. <laughs> um, okay, so you've got some divination layouts, um, and then when working with clients, kind of what to do. Psychic counselor, being able to read for others, becoming a spiritual teacher, warning signs to pseudo psychic work, discerning true spiritual teachers. There's a lot of good info in here, and then of course it talks about his his other books and things like that. So, um, if you get this deck, definitely have a read through. Or if you have this deck and you haven't read through this, like I, I highly suggest. <laughs> Okay, so before we get to the actual deck here, let's look at the cardstock and the backing here. It's very cool. 
Okay, so cardstock is very similar to his Feathered Omens, his Nature Speak, it's very thin. Um, Dragonhawk Publishing just has very thin cardstock, but it doesn't, like it's not going to get funky on you, I think, you know, because I, I do use his decks quite a lot, like his older decks and, or the other decks that I got that are newer than this. And I, you know, I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I've like been really hard on them and they've never frayed. They have a really nice coating and they are very thin and floppy, but um, they hold up. So that's all I need. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. They're not in order and I will show all of them. Um, this is a working deck, so therefore they are not in order. And yes, it's got the big, huge borders, but that's kind of how Ted Andrews does his decks. And there's something about, I've said it before with the Nature Speak Oracle, that there's just something so familiar with these images. Like, uh, I don't know, like it takes me to like when I was a kid in the 80s. For some reason, the, the coloring looks very 80s to me, and it's... I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. You know, when you see photographs from the 80s or I look at like photos of my family in the 80s <laughs> or myself, it's just that photographic coloring and it draws me in to that and it brings like a little kid part of me out, you know, so, you know, so I know this isn't going to be everybody's type of deck, you know, due to the borders, the cardstock or the fact that it's kind of got its own weird little system. But, you know, for the people who this will be your type of deck, like, this will be your type of deck. <laughs> oh, I love otters. Oh, I love all the animals in here. And actually, through working with Ted Andrews' books and his decks, um, I've learned to kind of embrace the messages, even from, like, animals, which includes, like, insects and stuff, that... <sighs> I'm not a huge fan of like spiders. I'm really not a huge fan of spiders. But when I have come across a spider now, instead of like going, Ugh, okay, maybe I do that kind of at first where I'm like, <laughs> um, but I actually stop and think like, what message are you trying to send me? Um, you know, you've popped here for a reason. Um, I'm not saying that I stop and talk to every spider, but it's like, you know, once things like stand out to you, um, and I'm like, you know, what's, what's your message for me? And the more I've done that, actually the less I've seen spiders. So go figure. Interesting, huh? <laughs> Ooh, I love the moon. The moon card used to not be my favorite card, but it's grown on me. <clears throat> the white crane has been, or egret, has been really helpful um, the past few months. And we have a lot of them in the area because they are all over at the preserve. Oh, and then there was uh, an extra card in here. So I did the healer card and this is Luby. Uh, you might recognize him from Instagram. He's an Instagram sensation. He's known as the hugging dog. So he lives in New York City and he goes around and he just hugs people. Um, and he kind of taught himself to do that. So I consider that like the natural healer and I figured that'd be a good card to add in. Oh, um, and then by the way, when you're doing a reading or you're trying to figure out like what the four leggeds are, um, he's, he's put the other key terms here. So this would be pentacles or earth, you know, if you read other decks that just have the elements. There's that spider. Actually, I pulled the lovers today for, um, today's Instagram card of the day. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should head on over. I love following people back. Uh, Instagram handle is at kittens, weights, and tarot. And I do a card of the day every day. There's that 
cougar, also known as a puma, also known as Wally. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to shuffle these. Some people just like seeing how they shuffle. And I'm gonna lay out, oh, whoa. Sometimes they're a little slippy slidey. I'm gonna lay out three cards just so you can see aesthetically how that looks. I'm not posing a question or anything, but hey, if you wanna play this video back and you wanna pose a question, by all means, you go ahead and do so. Okay, so um, if you have any questions for me about this deck, go ahead and post that in the comment section down below. Um, questions or comments. <laughs> um, and if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading with me, um, and I have tons of readings, <laughs> go ahead and head over to my Etsy shop, Kittens Waits Tarot. The link is down below as well. Uh, you can head over to my Etsy, or sorry, my website, www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Uh, also, the link is down below. Um, and if you specifically want to use this deck, just let me know upon booking. I'd be more than happy to use it. Like, trust me, I love using this deck. <laughs> and don't forget to join the KWT tribe over on patreon.com um, where we are building this business together as a community um, so that I can create more, do more, serve you guys more, um, and you guys get freebies in the process. So how wonderful is that? Anyway, so that's it for me, spiritual homies, and I'll catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out! <laughs>